Hi, good evening students. Uh, today we are going to see about single phase fully controlled rectifier fed DC drive. See here, this is the circuit diagram for that. Uh, um, this is a motor and we are going to uh, give this motor, uh, feed the AC supply to this motor. This is nothing but rectifier circuit because input is AC and the output is DC. Here the motor is DC motor. Okay. So, uh, at the time of conduction, here we are going to see the steady state analysis of uh, this particular motor. Uh, here there are two types of conductions are there, continuous conduction and discontinuous conduction. First we are going to see about the continuous conduction. So, what is continuous conduction? If the armature current IA is continuously flowing to this motor means, if the armature current is not uh, comes to zero, it is continuously flowing means it is continuous conduction. Okay, let us see uh, that in the waveform too. Uh, if the armature current is not continuous, then uh, we can call it as discontinuous conduction. Okay. So, see here. Well, during the, here the input is what? AC and the output is DC. Okay. AC. We are going to give AC input here for the positive house half cycle thyristor T1 and T2 conducts and for the negative half cycle T3 and T4 conducts for the positive half cycle here positive negative positive half cycle uh, via the P1 thyristor T1 gets on and to the motor afterwards to the T2 and to the negative ok this is the flow it is explained here T1 and T2 were on while during the positive half cycle positive half cycle and during the negative half cycle here it is negative of cycle means like this. So negative positive. Here it is negative and positive. So uh, due to this positive T3 and motor again uh, to the thyristor T4 and negative. Okay negative positive. So to T3 and T4 were in conduction for the negative half cycle. You want to understand that. Okay. So see here. Now we are going to see the waveform as well as the derivation. And the similar thing I have written here too. T1, T3 are triggered at omega T is equal to alpha. And T1, T2 conducts from alpha to pi plus alpha. See here the waveform. From alpha to pi plus alpha the conduction is by means of the thyristors t1 and t2 see here uh, the thyristor current is flowing from alpha to pi plus alpha current is flowing uh, for the thyristor t3 and uh, t4 the current were given here uh, from pi plus alpha to pi to pi plus alpha okay so from alpha to pi from alpha to pi plus alpha, the conduction is there. See here the waveform, this is supply voltage. And this is the armature output voltage, okay. From alpha to pi plus alpha, the waveform is similar to that of supply voltage. See here, from here to here, it is ditto of what? Yes. Supply voltage from alpha to pi plus alpha. The voltage similar to yes supply voltage Vs. So only here, here I am writing the supply voltage is nothing but Vs is equal to Vm sin omega t. So now we are going to see the steady state analysis of the continuous conduction average output voltage V is equal to here I am taking the cycle 1 divided by pi. Because for each half cycle I am getting the waveform similar waveform periodical waveform. So it is present it is similar for the next uh, half cycle. So, I am taking the time period as 1 divided by pi. Okay. So, 1 divided by pi. Conduction time is from alpha to pi plus alpha. Alpha to pi plus alpha. We are having the same. We are having the same output as supply voltage. Supply voltage. Vm sin omega t d of omega t. So, the, here the Vm is constant. I am taking that out and sin omega t d omega t. Integration of sin omega t is nothing but minus cos omega t. The limit is from alpha to pi plus alpha. Upper limit minus lower limit. I am substituting the upper limit. Minus of minus plus. So, lower limit cos 180 degree plus data is equal to minus cos data. Already minus is here. So, minus cos here I am taking alpha, so minus cos alpha plus cos alpha. So we are having uh, 2 cos alpha. Vm by pi is already there. So average output uh, voltage Va is equal to 2 Vm by pi cos alpha. This equation is very very important. Based on this we have several problems. Okay, clear? So and then next we want to find 
what means the speed is very very important so before that we want to write the equation the basic equation for motor uh, which is ba is equal to see here see here it is the motor see here clear na see here it is the uh, motor for motor how can we write the armature voltage we can also write va is equal to is ira you neglect the la so ira plus eb okay so see here what i have written here ba is equal to ira plus eb okay we are equating these two equations already we knew uh, eb back emf eb is proportional to the speed omega m eb we can write km omega m km is constant eb is equal to km omega m similar to the torque is equal to km i get this two equations are very very important please keep these two equations in your mind always uh, for the motoring it's very very important eb is equal to km omega m and torque t is equal to km ia so we are going to substitute these terms uh, in the above equation we are equating already we are having va from the derivation and we know the formula for va we are going to equate these two equations i have written here and i am going to substitute uh, instead of eb km omega m instead of ia here i am going to substitute ia is equal to tm divided by km here ia i am cross multiplying this so ia is equal to t divided by km i am substituting this eb and ia here in the above equation that's all hmm? so what will we get see here what will we get substituting that so we are getting this uh, equation so finally we are going to divide because uh, i am in need of the speed i want to find the speed so i am going to divide the whole equation with the, the constant km so 2 evm by pi km cos alpha t divided by km already is here we again we are going to divide so km squared r a plus omega m so this is the uh, omega m take this uh, term to that side so it it would be in negative so vm is equal to this is the final uh, speed equation okay for the continuous conduction and for the rms value of the output current rms value of the output current see here what is the output ac or dc for the rectifier what is the output ac or dc say so here input is ac but the output is dc because this is rectifier okay current always flow in this direction only whether t1 t2 are conducting otherwise t3 t4 are conducting any resistors uh, make might conduct but the output current would be in the same direction because that is dc rectifier is dc see here the current the current direction uh, through t1 motor and again uh, to t2 and coming out okay you see here the current is in this direction only and for this uh, negative half cycle uh, negative positive the content the conduction is via t3 and to the motor again uh, t4 and output here also the current uh, is in the same direction see here here also down downward direction here also downward direction so current output is in the same direction because it is dc dc have uh, only in the same direction the uh, dc current it would be in same direction okay so see here i have mentioned the waveform itself armature current ia is constant positive only same direction so what would be the rms output current it would be the same rms we find only for the ac for uh, output is dc so it would be the same ia and rms value of the source current source current is nothing but ac current output current is dc current source current is ac current so source current we want to consider see here the waveform of the source current see here the source current source current is in positive direction negative direction positive direction negative direction so here we want to consider Uh, consider for rms we want to take the square of square root of 1 divided by pi the time cycle the time period and the conduction is from alpha to pi plus alpha i a square d omega t the whole square root instead of square root here i am putting 1 by 2 that's all so uh, i a square is constant we are taking that out uh, integrating of omega t, d omega t is nothing but omega t upper limit pi plus alpha minus lower limit cancelling all those things we are getting i a so the output uh, sorry 
the source current normal value of the source current is nothing but ia so similar to that we can also find the average value of thyristor current by integrating see here uh, the thyristor current we want to consider the whole cycle thyristor current 1 divided by 2 pi only it's periodical it is the this uh, waveform is periodical about 2 pi 2 pi because positive negative so it is periodical about uh, whole uh, 2 pi one cycle so average thyristor current we want to consider 1 divided by 2 pi conduction period is nothing but alpha 2 pi plus alpha only it's conducting okay alpha 2 pi plus alpha ia d omega t so substituting the upper limit minus lower limit we are getting this ia by 2 similar to that we are getting the rms value of thyristor current by taking square and square root of we are getting ia by root 2 this all about <laughs> this all about continuous conduction so what are the things you want to write in the uh, exam point of view let me consolidate for the continuous conduction we want to write the power diagram and for the thyristor 1 and 2 conducting for the positive half cycle thyristor t and 4 conducts for the negative half cycle and this waveform you want to write yes and this waveform you want to write afterwards you want to write the derivation so clear this average output voltage is very very important this equation is very very important and the uh, speed equation is also very very important armature uh, average output rms output current rms source current thyristor current average value of thyristor current rms value of thyristor current that's all about continuous conduction thank you my dear students uh, if you like this video means please please like also subscribe and share to your friends thank you thank you very much for watching